your relationship with Jesus, watch this now, and your understanding his economic system secures that blessing upon you. But to manifest it in your life, here and now, as prophecy has shown, depends on strategic destiny connections. Say that after me, strategic destiny connections. Koinonia, body of Christ, this is the world of men. This is the world of men. Prosperity happens through the ministry of men. Accelerated wealth happens through the ministry of men. If you don't obtain grace to have strategic destiny connections, you will remain poor even though you are productive. Please understand this. Those that will be stepping into prophetic dimensions of wealth will be people who are valuable with wisdom. But in addition to it, you see, I have learned and I have taught you here that what you call business is not transaction with things. It is the business of men. Every business on earth is the business of men. Whether you call it oil and gas, the business of men. Banking, the business of men. Agriculture, the business of men. Mining, the business of men. It is men that give value to the products. It is men that give value to the transactions. When you buy or sell, at the back end of what you are doing is a man. Kill every man on earth and then all the ATMs should be given to you. All the bank safes should be open. All the mining sites should be open. They will be useless because there is no man. If you have products and you don't have men, you are not going to be wealthy. Did you hear what I said? If you have ideas and you don't have men, you are not going to be wealthy. When God wants to show you mercy, whether as a man of God, let me tell you the truth. He is going to empower you with grace, but he will grant you access to strategic relationships. Relationships that believe in your vision. Relationships that believe what you stand for. And those men will invest into you, invest into your relationship. When the resources come, the wisdom to manage them is already there. That's where being valuable comes in. The nation of Israel remained poor and beggarly for many years, even though they were a covenant people, because they did not understand the economic system of the kingdom. They would come out of Egypt with plenty overnight, and yet there were many instances where they were still poor and beggarly and became slaves again. Do you know that the nation of Israel became like fugitives? It was David that gave Israel a city till today. In Israel, their flag is the star of David. It was David that gave them a resting place because they did not really understand the economic system of the kingdom. When I learned how prophecy makes is manifest financially, it is not about things, it is about men. The reason why you need to hold something in your hand is so that it will attract the men. Did you hear what I said? Men. Men are the unfair advantage that God has placed in our world to help prophecies, even financial prophecies to come to pass in the lives of people. If you think all you will do is to save your way towards buying your house, taking care of your children, I assure you, in this wicked world we are living in, you may not build a house in your lifetime. Do you know that there are graduates that for 10, 20 years after graduation, they've not gotten a job? And even for those who have gotten a job, they are not able to do anything. See, I've had the honor by the privilege of God's grace to travel a bit. And this is not an African problem. I've traveled a bit and the number one trouble for people is even getting to the basics of establishment. Satan wants it so. So you spend your entire life trying to make ends meet. Whether it's a house, whether it's some means of mobility, whether it's something for your children, even in economies that their systems work, there are people who are still victims because it's an antichrist system. Let me tell you the truth. When God wants to help you, there are people he has already helped. God will bring strategic, I call it strategic connection. You are not the one who looks for it. If you go around looking for rich people, they will arrest you one day. Because there are some of you, you, you <laughs> some of you, once someone does not have money, cannot be your friend. And you will use what I say now and say confirmation. You see now, apostle has even agreed with me. I can't surround myself with people suffering again. Be careful because God is still lifting men. Somebody you will laugh at today, you will turn and find out he's the only help you have. Unfortunately, you have insulted the person. What happens if Joseph is the only one who can give you food? 
and you already threw him in the well. What do you tell him as a prime minister? I've shown you that that model of strategic connections, we see it between Abraham and Lot. You remember? We see, do you know how Abraham prospered? I taught you here. Abimelech, go and read your Bible. Remember Abimelech wanted to carry his wife? And God told him, if you touch that woman, you are dead. And as a reward, he gave him gifts. Gave him several things. Lot went with him. He was benevolent enough to share. Lot's becoming wealthy was not a product of his wisdom. It was not a product of his value. It was that he was strategically connected to a man who had covenant with God. How about Ruth and Boaz? How about Esther? Are we together now? Mordecai was outside of the palace. But the day the king decided to draw him close, that man was celebrated overnight. Do you think Mordecai was not valuable? He was valuable. He saved the king. And yet he was not rewarded. Because the race is not to the swift. Nor the battle to the strong. Nor bread sometimes to them that are wise. When God wants to help you, I'm teaching you a powerful formula. So that you will know how to engage in this prophecy. Does not mean to not be valuable. Don't get me wrong. Does not mean to not build your value and transact as you do. But have it at the back of your mind. That God gives men speed. Not by putting them on chariots. He gives them speed by bringing those who are already a representation of your future. And to make them like you and to connect with you. In a way that allows them to release from their blessings to you. This is how the kingdom works. That in one day. You can step into a level of inheritance that will bless you. Why is God not afraid to bring that kind of speed? Because he has worked on your heart. So plenty does not destroy you again. Because your heart already belongs to him. Are we together now? Let me tell you the truth. And I don't mean to insult money. But this one one naira that keeps dropping like dew. Not much will ever happen for the kingdom like that. Not for your life. Not for his program. The Antichrist system has a bank of wealth and they are prepared to fund anything that is against the program of God. Believers must have access to the resources of the kingdom. I will always make reference to all the various programs that we're organizing now by the grace of God. I know we are praying. I know you want to see Jesus revealed. But ladies and gentlemen, if I begin to tell you the economic implication of obedience. Did you hear what I said? The economic implication of obeying God. Paul said, I, I was not negligent to this heavenly calling, but it takes a lot of resources. And that when God wants to help a man, beyond just giving you business ideas, he brings strategic men. Strategic men are even enhancers to your business. Your business prospers based on who you do the business with, not just the business. Any business can make you a multi-millionaire, any scriptural godly business can make you a millionaire and billionaire depending on who you do it with. Are we together? So even using the works of your hands, when God wants to help you, he will help you to serve kings because the wealth of any nation is in the palace. As much as it's in the field, when it is extracted from the field, it is taken to the palace. That is where it is stored. And if you cannot access the palace, nor the heart of Pharaoh, you will remain poor. 